ओके सो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव सीन सर्वर एंड द लिस्ट दैट कम्स अंडर सर्वर नाउ द सेकेंड टॉपिक दैट वी हैव एज प्रोसेसिंग फॉर्म फॉर्म वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन योर पी एच पी बेसिकली द फॉर्म्स द इनपुट टाइप्स वी हैव डिफरेंट इनपुट टाइप्स वी हैव फॉर फॉर्म दैट इज ऑलरेडी स्टडीड नाउ वी विल जस्ट सी इन एडवांस वॉट इज फॉर्म प्रोसेसिंग it is easy to process form with php as the form parameters are available in your get and post methods there are many tricks and techniques for working with forms through which are described in the action php methods and array used in the form processing are we have is set method This function is used to determine whether the variable or a form control is having a value or not. So basically, after using is set method, we will just check whether the value is present or not in the particular function. Second one, your dollar underscore get method. It is used to retrieve the information from the form control through the parameters sent in the URL. it takes the attribute given in the url as your values okay so student basically your dollar get method it will take the value through the url it will display the value through the url it will process the values which the user gives through your forms next one we have dollar underscore post method it is used to retrieve the information from the form control by using post method it takes name attribute of corresponding form control as the source mostly your dollar get and dollar post method will work as the same thing but the difference is like dollar post method is more secure as compared to dollar get method why because the information that is shown in the url is in get method but the information is hidden in the post method in the previous session i have already explained you difference between get and post method just i will give you a rough idea what is get and post method the difference in get method the information that is taken by the user will be displayed in the url whereas in post method the information is hidden now why post method is more secure because whenever you are doing banking transaction where you put your passwords your uh, information that is important information that time the information is hidden by using post method next one we have dollar underscore request this method is used to retrieve information while using your data next one we have self processing form now what is self processing form php self processing form sometimes you want to include both form and logic for handling form submission in a single php file at this time the form is often referred to as self processing form students when you are including your html form and your php code in the same form that time it is referred as self processing form because till now we have seen a separate html file and we have seen separate html uh, php file but what is self processing form this is a form basically in which we are including your html form and your php form php logic in the same form for to create a self processing form you can use your dollar server request method that returns the request method for example get or post what is php dollar underscore request method PHP request method is a PHP super global variable which is used to collect data after submitting an HTML form. What is PHP self variable? PHP self is a variable that returns the current script being executed. This variable returns the name and path of current file from the root folder. you can use this variable in the action field of the form there are also certain exploits that you needs to be aware of we shall discuss this all the point in this article 
student you can see the example of php self processing form which is basically to check whether the input number is even or odd okay so basically we have taken html in which body color we have taken the background color as green h1 square root if your dollar underscore server request method as we said for processing self processing form we use request method and we have given the method as post we have taken variable dollar a equal to dollar underscore post method if your dollar a mod 2 equal to equal to 0 that means if your number is divided by 0 that means your number is even else your number is odd now this is your php code and now you will see your html form code form action equal to php echo dollar server php self processing method enter the number input type equal to number name equal to a id equal to a now why we have taken a here because in php code we have passed in dollar post method as a variable input type equal to submit value equal to submit this will create a button with the name submit input type equal to reset value equal to refresh this will create a button which will reset the value closing of form closing of body and closing of html tag so basically student this is an example of self processing form where we are checking whether the input number is even or odd whenever we talk about self processing form remember that we have to use dollar underscore server request underscore method this thing we have to use by using this thing it will call your self processing form next one we have that is sticky form what is sticky form a sticky form is simply a standard html form that remembers how you filled it out this is particularly particular nice feature for end users especially if you are requiring them to resubmit a form okay now student what is sticky form for example if you want to enter a detail for example you have to enter your aadhar card number so sticky form before entering uh, to your this one uh, in the text box it will already it will give you that here they will give you example in sticky form that what is the other card number you have to enter like it will give you seven eight digits number where you have to enter the other card now simple one more example i will give you that uh, for example you have to travel from pune to mumbai and they have asked you that uh, enter the place where you have to travel so in sticky form they will just highlight that for example pune to mumbai so that is nothing but your sticky form whenever the form is submitted the page is refreshed so we must hold the user entered data in form data validation is not clear user not fulfilled all the requirement the main purpose is user need not enter the data again so that is nothing but your sticky form so student we will just wind up the session right now the second session with sticky form the last topic we will complete this in your session 3 setting response setup this we will cover in session 3 a quick recap what we did in session 2 we have started with processing form we have seen your get and post method then we have seen self processing form by using php underscore uh, dollar underscore request method we have seen the example of php processing form and we have seen your sticky form we will stop the session right now thank you